Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, an announcement of CONIFA European Football Cup. The government intends to fully continue the implementation of the planned programs. The president of Artsakh received builders. After a 20-year break, the liturgy was served in the Church of St. Georg in Mardin in Western Armenia. Aliyev brought his team to Rome to see the maps of Great Azerbaijan, but they found only the map of Great Armenia on all the maps. Satulin, holy place of Western Armenia, St. Karapet Monastery in Mush. The Western Armenian poet Zahra turned 98 years old. The exhibition, titled Under the Shadow of Ararat, Treasures of Ancient Armenia, was opened. The Confederation of Independent Football Association, CONIFA, are calling on municipality of Nice for action regarding their hosting of European Football Cup of 2022. CONIFA has been informed by a member of organizing committee with reference of the perfect of Alps Maritimes that a country of Nice FA and a municipality of Nice will step back from the hosting the tournament. CONIFA Vice President Christoph Wentzfeld said, despite a written engagement by the mayor of Nice, Mr. Christoph Estrosi, and multiple letters and approaches. Both the hosting FA and municipality remain unresponsive. With consideration to the above-mentioned circumstances, CONIFA would like to alert to its partners, members and supporters that the tournament is in serious dangers. CONIFA highly regret the damage caused and will seeking legal advice. We await correspondence from the municipality of Nice and while continuing to work with all concerned, shall provide an external update on the competition status in due course. President of the Republic of Artsakh, Aray Karutunyan, received responsible people of a number of construction organizations operating in the Republic of Artsakh. Issues related to housing construction, road construction, as well as infrastructure programs were discussed at the meeting, which was attended by Artsakh Minister of Urban Development, Aram Sarkisyan, and head of the presidential staff, Karen Shahramanyan. In his speech, the head of state noted that the government of Republic of Artsakh intends to fully continue the implementation of the planned programs, keeping the initiatives aimed at social economic development the focus of social attention. Aray Karutunya stressed that in parallel with this, the control functions provided to interested state bodies will be expanded. In the Armenian Church of St. Georg, built 372 years ago in the Eric province of Mardin, province of Western Armenia, 20 years later the drill church was held under the chairmanship of Armenian Patriarch of Kastadnapol, Sahag Mashalyan. The church located in the Kalais district in the province of Derik and according to some sources, built in 1650, was nationalized after 1915. In 1957, it was brought by Armenian community of district and registered in name of Armenian resident Derek Lee Karapet Gechidzi. After his death, the church was headed over his hairs. The last restoration of the church was carried out in 2004, where the liturgy was not held for about 20 years due to the lack of sufficient number of visitors. The deputy of the State Duma of Russian Federation, Konstantin Zatulin, flashed upon the ridiculous statement of Azerbaijani President Aliyev as if Zangezur is part of historical Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan indirectly makes territorial demands on Armenia. The situation in Armenia allows Aliyev to declare the historical Azerbaijan territories of Zangezur, Sevan and Yerevan. Perhaps Aliyev is referring to the fact that in Zangezur the Turks suffered a historic defeat from Garigin Nejde. As for the rest, I can say that there was not even an Azerbaijani nationality in Russia. Azerbaijanis were called Turkish Tatars, and concept of Azerbaijanis arose not so long ago, in the first half of the 20th century. So even with a very big imagination, Yerevan and Sevan cannot be Azerbaijani territories in any way, study history Kostadnin Zadulin said. Glaga Monastery, the monastery complex in Taron, Turuberan province of Western Armenia, was a pagan monument and it was turned into a monastery during the adaptation of Christianity in the 4th century. St. Karapet is not a just church or a temple, but a set of several temples that make up a group of shrines. St. Karapet Monastery in Western Armenia was considered the largest and most cherished holy place after the mother see of Holy Ejmiadzin. The glory and frame of monastery went beyond national borders and became a shrine for local 
locals and foreign visitors. The monastery had five chapels and ten altars. There were four large bell towers hanging on the bell tower. Since 1896, an orphanage at a school with 45 students and the library have been opened at a monastery. At the beginning of 19th and 20th century, the monastery had an extensive church, including a settlement of Taron, Vardo, Chapanjur, Khanus, Geri and other provinces inhabited by Armenians. The monastery suffered great disasters in 1915-1918. During the days of the genocide, a significant part of Armenians of Taron took refuge in a monastery and the nearby forest. There resisted the overwhelming forces of the enemy for two months. It was possible to preserve the valuable monuments there, including 1,750 manuscripts, which were transferred to Ejmeadzin. The monastery is now destroyed. The poet of Zahrat was born in Kastadnapol in 1948. In 1942, he graduated from the Lyceum of Kastadnapol Mkhitaryan and continuously studied at the pharmaceutical and medical faculties of Kastadnapol State University, which he left unfinished. He studied at the medical faculty of University of Vienna. He worked in Armenian newspapers and magazines in Kastadnapol, was the head of the literature department of the daily newspaper Marmara and an editor of the publication Sun. The first First poems were published in 1943. Various other collections were published successfully. Zahrat poems are characterized by the tragedy of a small person living in a big city, the variety of themes, and the originality of fresh forms of expression. Some of Zahrat books have been translated into English, French, and Greek. This year, the Armenian culture in the Netherlands is presented in an unprecedented way. The exhibition of relics and valuables of Museum of History of Armenia and Mother Sea of Holy Ejmiadzin sheds new light on the Armenian culture and heritage, arising from the depths of history. The exhibition once again shows and recalls the warm and historical friendly relations between the peoples of Armenia and the Netherlands. It will be open until October 30. 160 valuable exhibits from Museum of the History of Armenia and the Treasure of the Mother Sea of Holy Ejmiadzin were presented. A unique relic of Noah's Ark is also shown. It should be noted that in the 17th and 18th century, Amsterdam was one of the outstanding centers of the Armenian painting house, where in 1660 the Armenian publisher Matteo Tsareti founded a painting house. In 1666, the Armenian spiritual Boskan Yerevanti published the first Armenian printed edition of the Bible for 5,000 copies. Another episode of long-standing Armenian-Dutch interaction is that Armenian merchants found a trading house in Holland in the 16th century, and one of the oldest bridges in Amsterdam is now called the Armenian Bridge. Now musical part, Armenian folk song, state and symbol of song and dance after Tatul Altunyan. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.